Welcome back to Mushroom Adventures. In this episode, I'm going to give you an update on my walking cooler. Let you know how it's been doing, if I had to do any repairs to it. You can see over here that I got the front of my AC unit taken off because I've had to do a repair to it. This uh, power cord, I think it has what's called an LCDI. I think it's the proper an anagram for it. But it's a... Uh, a special type of uh, protection circuit on it that keeps any current from leaking in it. And I think what I ha what I did is I ran underneath the AC unit and it ended up pinching it and maybe fraying some of the wires. But whatever happened when I turned it back on after I cleaned everything out in here, it kept on tripping the breaker on the cord. So I've replaced this cord with another 20 amp 240 volt. It was pretty easy, just pulled out the pins and reattached the ground to it. Um, in the process too, I kind of tore out the, the thermostat wire, so I had to uh, repair that, solder it back together. Um, but otherwise, it seems to be working fine. No problems with the AC unit itself. Now I took everything out of here for kind of a, a winter cleaning, you'd say. Plus I went on a vacation this year, so I got to take a break and give a good opportunity to examine how well things are doing in here. I did have a couple small problems with uh, water dripping in from the ceiling mostly where I had put a an old screw hole like like one of these screws to uh, fix the styrofoam board to the top then I missed the stud and just left the hole there that caused the cold air to get up and meet the, the warm temperatures and condensate but where have I put tape on it now there's no problems and all the seams I've had in here I've taped up extra I think each one has three layers going across it now that way no cold air can leak out and there'll be no chance of any more uh, condensation forming now I didn't get really any chance to open up any of the uh, panels and see how the insulation the actual fiberglass insulation is behind it but uh, it's probably okay. Either either way, it's it's open on the back side in between the garage and this, so it would have dried out by now. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to have any more future issues. You can see here I have the insulation taken out that was around uh, the AC opening. And if you can see up under here, there is some actual water damage. A little bit of <clears throat> green molds that formed up. And that was actually behind the insulation where air was coming up and getting underneath of it. So it must have been some warm air that got underneath there, <clears throat> meeting it. So I'll probably, what I'm gonna do is put plastic sheeting up around the perimeter of it to really cut off any air escaping and then put the insulation back over that and pack it in. Maybe, maybe look a little bit, bit nicer. Um, but otherwise, this has been doing pretty well in here. Now, had I have used this room this winter, which I didn't because I took a vacation, I would have put a space heater in here with a thermostat control that uh, went all the way down you know, to refrigeration temperatures. That way I'd be able to keep things in here above freezing because my garage still gets pretty darn cold, and it was a very cold year this year. Um, and it would have surely frozen the mushrooms in here if I would not have any kind of he uh, help from heating. <clears throat> but also, too, you can find the right temperature in the middle of winter where you're not really paying any energy costs, and it stays pretty constant here. Um, if you remember, too, you know, don't let this chair fool you in here. Don't Make sure you don't have any chairs with the fabric back or anything in here because they will get moldy, too. That's just so I can work. I took all the shelving out here. Took it to my basement and blasted it off with a hard stream of water to knock off any spores or dust. Go to good cleaning and let it dry off. So once I get everything back together in here, I will put that all together and it should be back normal. Another problem that I had was that I left this door hanging open which was a bad idea when I wasn't using the cooler and that caused the door to sag some and 
um, kind of change its position on the hinges. Um, it seemed to be okay after though I, I put it up there and hinged it up for uh, several days. It could be too that it's more used to the uh, the wood and everything being cold for everything to line up nice. So once I get the AC turned back on here and everything cooled off, it'll probably line up and not be such a tight fit anymore. So I have everything back together. You see here I have plastic around the AC unit. It's doing a good job keeping the external warm air out. So no condensation gets formed. The floors and the walls are pretty dry in here. Plus I have the cool bot set to one degree lower. That way it'll be a little bit more drying in here. You want to keep it around 38, 37 degrees, otherwise it's not very energy efficient. That's plenty cool enough for a mushroom use. So everything's nice and sealed up. I got a couple more shelves to put in here. You can see I got some mushrooms in here already. So I'm happy with it all, and I hope you uh, get a chance to do something like this, with, whether it's flowers or vegetables or mushrooms. So I'll see you again on Mushroom Adventures.